Good morning guys, so today we're just about to head off to London. We got accepted for the Creator Pass at London Comic Con and if you guys know I absolutely love conventions, I used to sell at conventions and I also am an avid goer of conventions and my favourite one is MCM and this is the one we're actually going to in London. Hopefully it will inspire you guys, we'll see some little independent artists because they have something called an artist alley if you've never been to a convention before where it's small businesses that showcase the work. We'll also be doing some cafe stops along the way to do some market research for the Catnip Cafe. Also, Tom Hiddleston's there. How cool is that? I don't know if I'll see him though. Maybe I've been going nowhere lately. It's time to start all over and go for it. We've got ourselves some lunch while we wait. I'll change the colour in about half an hour. dreams baby what can i do when a million things are running through million things i can't undo i just sleep walk i just sleep talk that's all i got what can i say when a million things i can't embrace million people i can't save i just sleep walk i just sleep talk don't wanna wake up Baby. We made it to our hotel and I thought I'd give you a little room tour because it is literally tiny. So this is where you walk in and as you can see there's some storage space to hang your coats. We've hung our, hung ours by the door and literally this is it. I've got a wide angle lens on as well. Uh, we're staying in a premier in hub. Got this cool artwork on the wall. The bed's pushed against the wall. Got space for suitcases. There's no tea and coffee in the room, but there is 24 hour tea and coffee downstairs and a coffee machine that you help yourself to. Through there is a shower and bathroom, which I will show you when Dean's finished on the toilet, probably having a poo. There's also this cool glass panel that you can do your aircon with. Do not disturb sign, I've got that on. And do not make up room sign, we've got lights. So you can dim the lights. Whoa! Did you have a nice poo day? Oh, my eyelashes hanging on for dear life. My allergies have been so bad today. So this is the bathroom. Snazzy. It's really modern. Just what you need, really. Shower. Everything feels really new and modern. Cool sink but it's pretty cool okay so already we ended up laying in bed and watching Dora the Explorer uh, it was actually really really good the like movie remake we're just going to head out into Brick Lane it is now evening oh, we shut the curtains and see what there is to offer for food so let's go out and get some food shall we Hello guys, oh my goodness, I've got low battery. I brought my battery pack, but I haven't brought my micro USB and all the batteries are dead. Uh, we went to bed really, really early last night, which is not like us at all, and I was out for the count. Um, so we've been up since like six. I think we have to catch a tube, then we have to catch what's called a DLR. Thank gosh for Google Maps. Honestly, without it, how did anyone get around like London and stuff? I would have no idea. Let's head off to Comic Con, I'm really excited. It's the first time going in such a long time. Oh no, I got fresh 
these coffee grounds on me. I wiped on my dress and I had a coffee ground on me and now it's stained just before I leave. DLR station after you can get off at either one you can either get off at somewhere called Customs House and then Prince Prince Regent we got off at Prince Regent so we are literally having to walk all the way around this huge convention hall we've literally been backwards and forwards we went all the way up there then came all the way back down and went round then asked the security guy and now we're going all the way around again we will get there eventually don't you worry but at least the view is really good Oh my god, I'm literally going mad. We went to the West Entrance, but we got told to come back out to get our lanyards. We come back out, we walked all the way back around. We got told to go back to the entrance we came from. I must have walked about 20,000 steps. Oh, this is good for burning calories. So we got told, we came here and we got told to go all the way around and we literally only needed to be here. I can't believe that. It's like a mission, you know, when I finally got the pass. I'm kind of sad we didn't go in the main entrance because I feel like it's got a better vibe. You know, when everyone's walking through and you see everyone in the costume, it's always dead busy through that entrance, but we've come through kind of the quiet entrance. I'm like, I want to be with everyone. This is the emptiest I've seen a convention, but it's Friday. This is over three days. Um, so I'm assuming it'll get busier and busier. Um, yeah, because Manchester is always packed. Yeah, so the reason it's not busy is because general entry is until 12 today. As I made my way around the convention and explored Artist Alley and the trader stores, I was reminded just how much I absolutely love conventions. Conventions will always have an extra special spot in my heart. When I first started Catnip, I actually sold at many conventions. And you can actually see this on my YouTube channel. You can go back and watch my previous convention videos from a few years back, which are a little bit cringy. I actually made so many good friends at conventions who really helped me elevate my business game and take it to another level. If you're a small artist or business owner and you're thinking about selling at conventions or craft fairs, my advice would be to do it. You honestly gain so many valuable experiences, memories and friends from this. You get to learn how to actually sell your products in person and I feel also that you can't really replicate the feeling of someone coming over to your stall and actually being physically excited and seeing their reaction to your work face to face. It really is an extra special feeling and also the thing about conventions is it feels like such a safe space space for creatives and creators. There's many people of different backgrounds, all creating beautiful fun artwork, all revolved around pop culture, anime, manga. I really feel like it's such a non-judgment and personal space to be in and always made me feel like there was a sense of community. I am still friends with a lot of people you can actually see in these stalls and it was so lovely to get inspired and see other artists and creators and really make made me realise I want to get back into conventions myself with catnip. The way people create their own worlds, even from behind the small table, and really get to express their brand and their voice as an artist is super inspiring. You can see all the different colour palettes, the designs, the layout, how they lay out the artwork, all represents them as an artist or their brand. And that's something I really want to get back into. I haven't done a convention for such a long time and coming here really really inspired me and if you're thinking of doing it yourself I would highly recommend going to a convention yourself and having a look in person at all these amazing artists and what there is to offer from different ways to lay in out your stall unique ideas for priceless the list is endless and honestly it is a very valuable experience that I have personally had as a small business there's also a few different ways that you can get into conventions you can either apply to be in artist alley which is kind of like like the starting 
point for most artists but different conventions will have different rules for your application to Artist Alley. For instance, MCM, which is this convention, you have to have something like over 80% paper goods. But you can always check with different conventions what their rules are for Artist Alley or the trader stores, which is the second way you can apply to be at these conventions. Trader stores are a little larger for more established small businesses. Jean Jones and a few other tables here were traders and oftentimes you are already have a following or a lot of product to sell and you are already established in the convention scene. If you're a convention goer you will actually see a lot of artists go to the same conventions and are in the same circle. There's actually a Facebook group dedicated to this and it's super cool to see your favourite artists in a new convention and you always feel connected like yeah you're here as well and there's always a great sense of community here. There's also some artists who actually solely rely on the convention scene as a way to make their money. Now obviously the pandemic hit and this did damage some small independent convention artists but under normal circumstances artists can make a career by touring conventions. Now I wouldn't always advise to put all your eggs in one basket but I'm just saying if social media isn't for you or maybe you just want to do it as a hobby and sell at a few conventions a year and these conventions can often be quite lucrative if they've got really good footfall or if it is really, really good for your audience and your niche. And it's not just about Artist Alley that I love either. All the shows, the cosplay masquerades and all the fun things to do, like connecting with other people about anime, because back when I was growing up, anime wasn't really a popular thing to do. I was seen as a huge geek and kind of kept it to myself that I actually loved it. It's just a sense of belonging and I absolutely love it. Over the course of the two days, we ended up coming back, exploring more of Artist Alley, supporting our favourite artists and we also met up with some good friends Rosie and Jess again and we went for a meal and it was just the best time. So we've had a super super lovely time at Comic Con. It, we are leaving today but we are going to go to Spitalfields Market. We actually went there last night with Jess and Rosie and had a drink and a chat and I actually tried my first Leon um, burger which was really really nice. I had these vegan mac and cheese balls and they were super tasty. We've got six hours to kill. I'm hoping the reception can hold our bags for us because we've got a lot to traipse around. Baby, I've been going nowhere lately. It's time to start all over and go for it. Cause they don't even, they don't even know me yet. But that's something I don't regret. Every night I close my eyes and see only lavender dreams, baby. for a quick coffee. I've been like taking photos of inspiration and even shops and stuff give me inspiration with like the plants and everything so it's really handy to like see and it's really trendy here. Thank you. 